This is interesting. I'm actually really scared right now. This isn't, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of mixed in between insane excitement and terrified to my core. I don't know when you're going to see this video because as I sit here to record this video, no one is even sure if this thing exists. So I don't know when I'm even going to upload this, but I want to look at it, so I'm recording it now. I know a lot of you are gonna have a ton of questions, and I don't know what I should say. Hey, hey, quiet up there, bucko. Uh, right about here in the video, I went and told you guys pretty much how I got the Switch, and in retrospect, I probably just shouldn't say anything. So, I'm just gonna fast forward that, and... Good. Okay. Keep you guessing. <laughs> I'm gonna try and swallow the scared and just embrace the excitement. I am a massive Zelda fan. There's been a lot of limited edition Nintendo Switches. In fact, we know that because we just bought all of them. But none of them really stood out to me as a one that I would really want to use. So the idea of a Zelda-themed Switch, I have been so insanely excited for this. Right before we open it, I need you to know that I am still doing my Breath of the Wild full playthrough with crowd control over on Twitch. I'm I might be live right now. Go check it out. I can answer more questions about this thing. Also like, comment, subscribe, all that normal stuff. I had a sponsor that was supposed to go on my last video, but it, it wasn't ready in time. So, um, gonna make you wait for it. Got a guys gonna stand over here and talk about today's sponsor. Raycon. I have been working with Raycon for so many years now, and I love it. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point. In fact, Raycon starts at about half the price of other premium wireless audio brands on the market. Whether you're looking for a pair of these everyday earbuds, or you want to get some low latency gaming headphones, or maybe even a Bluetooth speaker that'll last you all night long, Raycon's got you covered. And they're not kidding either. I was actually sent a new pair of these everyday earbuds about a month ago, and I started going to the gym, and I took them every Every day and I've worked out five days a week for a month with these Raycons and I kid you not they literally only died just today they got me through over 30 days of workouts. The best part is Raycon is so confident in their product, there's a hassle-free return policy. So there's literally no harm in going to buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups or clicking the link below and getting 15% off your pair of Raycons. No matter how hard you shake your head, these bad boys never fall out. They're noise isolating, but they also have an awareness mode that you can turn on and then you can kind of hear everything around you if you wanted to while listening to your music. They're also sweat and water resistant. They have three different sound profiles to pick between. Got hair in my face. They even offer buy now and pay later options. So what are you waiting for? Click that link in the description. Now, I gotta go back. Okay, I am I'm gonna pretend that I'm not super scared and I'm gonna be excited. This is the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLED limited edition. I hope, I hope. Let's open it. I hope. <laughs> no, I'm still scared. I'm still scared. I'm not, I'm trying to be excited and I'm still scared. Um, it looks amazing. It looks really cool. These are gold. These are gold Joy-Cons. Oh my God. I love the history of Nintendo and gold themed things. The original Zelda carts on NES were gold. Like you don't, it doesn't get any cooler than that. When you're a kid and you see someone's NES collection, what game do you think you wanna play? The boring gray ones or the one that's definitely plated with real 24 karat gold? Then there was gold 64 carts. There was, there's been gold controllers through the years and we don't have gold Joy-Cons until now. And oh my, oh my gold, they look so freaking good the texture the color the design i really i and the white on the back and this 
interesting, these logos on the back. When I was at PAX, I was really trying to study the giant link that they brought to see if there was any secrets or things that I could unearth before the game came out. And some of the designs on the arm and the symbols were really standing out to me. And these are similar symbols on the back here. This game is still so shrouded in mystery. I, 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 I'm so excited to play the game and I'm so excited for what is happening right now. It looks so heckin' cool. Okay, the actual Switch itself doesn't have much color pop to it. I love that it's an OLED though. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry. The back, the design is nice. I mean, it's a bunch of swirls and circles and lines. It's definitely fitting on theme. It's minimalistic. I don't know how I would have felt about maybe, maybe having it be a pure white back might get very dirty um maybe a little bit of gold trim i'm not i'm not critiquing this thing i mean the joy cons are sick and this looks really nice so i'm just gonna shut up i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna piece it together also i am way too scared to actually turn this thing on i am terrified for reasons i don't i don't need nintendo to know that one has been turned on yet i'll turn it on later maybe Never. Maybe I'll never turn it on so they can never find me. <laughs> I mean, you guys might want to see the Joy-Con straps. This nice, I want to say gold. I guess it's gold. I almost said brown. But this nice white and gold strap. And then the dock. I, I actually have no idea what the dock looks like. I can't remember what any of the... Pi I mean, I, it is on the front of the box. But I gotta be honest, I, I didn't want to look at the box. I didn't want to study the box. Before I even show the dock, I'm now realizing that this is really the first time anyone's had a good look at the box and I kind of skipped it to dive straight in. There's nothing standing out that we haven't already seen in trailers. They're obviously really leaning into this sky area and these floating platforms as like a big marketing standpoint, at least. So I really hope whatever happens up here in the sky is really fleshed out and a lot of fun and not just floating platforms without much to do. Why do they never do anything for this guy? You know? They never care about the little the little guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I almost screamed and I reeled it back in. This is really nice. This is freaking awesome, actually. Such a cool design. The gold again, the white. I'm loving the gold and white look this time around. It's so clean. Usually, I mean, Zelda stuffed a lot of gold and green, but mostly I think gold when you do special edition things. You know, I, I think about like the Wii U, it was like black and gold, nice but this white and gold looks so, so nice. Some more trim around the back on either side as well. That reminds me of the trim around the Wii U special edition. And then, yeah, just the way that looks is so cool. Like. Again, I, there really hasn't been a Switch that stood out to me as like, that is my special edition Switch. This is the first time I feel like I've been given a special edition. And the fact that this gets to sit proudly next to my TV, oh my God, it looks so cool. It's, it's honestly a design of my Zelda dreams to have a Triforce gold Zelda dock and to have gold Zelda Joy-Cons. This is easily the best looking Nintendo Switch we have. And I don't think that's even bias. I mean, tell me this doesn't look just incredible. I'm at a loss of words. I, uh, I can't, I, I can't believe that as I sit here right now, no one even knows if this thing is real. And I have it. Thanks for watching <laughs> what might be my last YouTube video. If you don't hear from me again, Come, come looking for me. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, actually, the video's not over yet. Uh, I, I'm about to come back. I am. Just give it a second. Give it a sec. Okay. Okay, I, uh, I'm back. I don't want to show too much. I got, I got too tempted, and I turned it on. And I think just one little piece of information that is interesting... The last time this thing was patched, the last software update that it had goes back to June 
of last year. They were probably ready at the time because Zelda was supposed to be coming out and then it got delayed. I don't even know. I don't I don't know. I guess they've just been waiting somewhere. Maybe in Nintendo's warehouses, maybe an actual. I don't know how it works, but yeah, I feel like these were ready for like a year. So this has honestly been kept pretty dang secret. I just thought that was interesting. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back into my uh, my bunker now. <laughs>